So let's do a few sample turns just to, you know, gather up everything we've learned through our tutorial series, our demo series. So let's do a few mop-up hands of the game. All right. So this is how everything's set up at the start. So each player only has three poise to begin with. And we are doing this with advanced rules, by the way. So we have our jack set up in our hands and our proxies in our hands. All right. Okay. So for the sake of, let's go ahead and do a couple of turns. Okay, so I'll put down, I want to play, sorry, let's promote our cards first. So no permission for everybody, but since I have a zero cost um, poi, that is promoted, just to let my opponent know I can play it. And then he has none, no zero cost um, poi is in play, or at least in his hand. Okay, so now we play our cards. So I play mine. And let's say he plays his. Right. There we go. That's what he plays. So let's reveal the card simultaneously. Okay, and then we put the poi that that uh, proxy represents on top of it, just to be very clear. So we resolve the jacks first, so we know that he gains one green permission from that. And then we resolve my card, which says all players gain one permission of each color. So, okay, so let's then gain permission for all of that. So he gets two green now. And there you go. Okay, so a pretty fast start to the game. So this card is now discarded. So that's gone. The proxy goes back to my hand. And then his jack goes back to his hand. All right. So that's cool. Now, beginning, beginning of the second turn, we draw a card. Again, you put it down, and then we promote whatever cards that need to be promoted. So zero cost again, we promote that. I do not have enough permission to play this card, so that stays down, and this stays down as well. He draws his card as well, so that's put down. Okay. Now he has enough permission to play this, so he promotes that. He doesn't have enough permission to play this because he has only one blue permission. This requires two, and then Static Monster requires two green. Permission, which he has, so that's promoted as well. Okay, so we begin throwing our cards as we want to call it in the game. So, for example, you know, I really want to be able to play my ex lover, so I want to play this jack. And then let's say he plays this, All right? Okay, so now that both cards are down, they are revealed. So, only one card per turn, remember? Okay, so he plays this, your static monster, right there. And I play a red check, red scissors check, so I get my permission from that. So I get it back to my hand. Then he gets to resolve this, because I did not play any card to counter it. I didn't play a paper jack, for example. So this gets to be put in his permission, sorry, his permanent pool. So that gets into play, he gets back his um, proxy, and that's essentially turn two. Okay. Now, at the start of the turn, remember, so this is the third turn, put a counter on this card, one counter, so let's use our gray generic token to indicate that. Okay. And then we draw our cards again. Okay. So that goes up, that goes up as well. Then he has this card. It's zero three zero, so he cannot play that either. Okay. Now we throw our cards. So I want to be able to play my ex lover. That's why I gained my permission. And remember, he knows I have enough um, permission to play this card. So if he were smart and wants to anticipate that, he would play this card. Okay. So we are, now that the cards are down, we reveal each card. Okay. So we put the proxy, so first card from the left, and that's it. So we resolve the jack first, remember? He gains his green permission right there. And now we resolve my card, which unfortunately interacts negatively against his green jack. So it's an empty trigger in the green spot which essentially means this card is nullified, is, doesn't even get resolved, and is completely done. So there you go. So proxy back to hand, jack back to hand, 
and we continue on so forth and so on with the game. So hopefully that gives you, you know, a little bit of a demo on how to play the game. So just keep going and keep going. And remember, some few notes perhaps, if you have five cards already, and then you need to draw, you can still draw, but you can only have five poise and play at a time. So you'll need to pick which card to keep. So for example, I really don't want to give permission to my opponent, so I just discard that, and I put my Spirit of Wrath in the game, because I think that has far more utility for me. So that's how you play the game, guys. So remember, the first player to reduce their opponent's life to zero wins, and that's all there is to it. Hopefully you enjoy the game, and thank you so much for viewing these tutorial and slash demo videos. Let me know if anything is still unclear and I'll be able to do more videos for you on those topics. Thanks.